I love fall in Kentucky. And I love going to Shaker Village because there's 3,000 acres that I can wander around on and find all kinds of things to to draw and and just the peacefulness of being there. This is the initial block in for drawing number one at Shaker Village. Usually when I go there, I try to do at least two or three sketches in one day. It's important when you're doing plein air sketches to just try to catch the essence of the day. You don't need to catch all the detail. You just need to catch how it feels to be there in that place, in that moment. Just listen to the bugs and the wind and the feeling of being there. It's wonderful. Shawnee Creek runs on the west side of the village. It's a lovely little creek with a lot of subtle color. On the second drawing, I worked on pastel matte gray, not a lot of underpainting. It's definitely a plain air piece, quickly done. And here's the final version. After drawing number two, I just turned around and there was drawing number three waiting for me to do it. It was a gorgeous day. This is November 7th, 2020. The Plain Air Painters of the Bluegrass met that day, and I went down a little ahead of time to get started on some drawings. I really like the drawing from November 7th, so this is a studio piece that I did as a demonstration for students and because I didn't want to sell the original plein air piece. So here's a reference photo of the studio piece and the plein air piece from November 7th. It was a special day, and I'm glad I got to spend it at Shaker Village. So not all plein air pieces will, will eventually end up to be a framed painting. The top two on the left were just color studies for the day, as was the top one on the right. Uh, the bottom two on the right were from West Virginia, and I think they will be reference photos for some larger pieces. The bottom one on the left was a spring day at Shaker Village. I don't know if that one will ever become much of anything other than just a memory of a beautiful day of the, the wildflowers down in the river bottom. But it's important when you're out doing plain air just to... Um, to enjoy the day. Yes, you might get something that you're in love with and you, you don't even want to sell it. I've had that happen. Or you'll get a piece that will be a good reference photo for a larger piece. Or you might get a piece that you can frame. But the important thing is to enjoy the experience. Hey folks, I accidentally referred to these as reference photos. They obviously are reference sketches. And my point was that using these sketches and my reference photos that I also took at the same time, I can use these to make larger pieces in the studio.